a little bit about a rotation. Hey guys, today's post is talking a little bit about a rotation and just movement and kind of disassociating movement at the rib cage and at the pelvis. So I'm a very hypermobile person, so when I demo exercises and I do a lot of things with the pelvis, I can do a lot of movement. This isn't always good because we want to also be able to control movement and some of this laxity that we might have at the hip. So if I kind of hang on my right side all the time, and I don't have this control on the outside of the glute, I might be in this more hip height position over time that might not feel so great. So we want to be able to also control movement on both sides. That's why you'll see me place my hand on my butt a lot and just give myself references and control so I know not to let this guy go out to the side because I have a lot of that laxity. So in this exercise um, in the post, I'm kind of keeping my pelvis pretty stable, but getting that movement at the rib cage, which is what something my body really craves. And we need a movable rib cage so that our diaphragm and pelvic floor and our breath can move as it needs to. One of the key areas I love to focus on in my own strength training is rotation, breath, and enhancing mobility.